Simplest way to change your life is to change your geography. I look back on my life and I was like, I stayed too long in that city. Move. So when I say move, I don't always mean run from your problems because that's another error. I see some people. It just depends on your hormonal and genetic personality type, right? So some people are too stubborn. They stay in one city for too long. They get stuck, get around the wrong social circle, not push, you know, that their environment doesn't push them forward. Um, but some people are always running from place to place. That's also another mistake. So, I mean, I think that the happy median here is you got to look, you got to have some wisdom and go, am I stuck because of my geography, which is probably about 50% of the time, or am I stuck because of my mental, something wrong in my mind where I'm thinking the grass is greener on the other side? It's easy. It's like a fine line to walk, boy, between those two. I meet people every single day that should move. I should move. And then I meet other people that should do what my first mentor, Joel Salatin, said, which is bloom where you're planted. Like, you're fine. You're in the right place. You're not thriving for another reason. You got to be like a doctor with your life. You have to successfully diagnose what's actually wrong. So, you know, it's easy. It's like Aristotle said, to be angry is easy. But to be angry at the right person at the right time for the right reason, this is difficult. So, like, to want to move is easy. But to, write, to want to move at the right time to the right place for the right reason is more difficult. So, you know, we live in a world of like short form social media where you get all these quick pieces of advice. But like Albert Einstein said, advice should be simple, but not simpler than it must be. Meaning some things require nuance. You know, some things aren't always an easy answer. So if you feel stuck, examine. You got to sit down and really think about it. Don't, don't just be scrolling through social media all day, frying your brain. Sit in a chair with no social media. Go out on a jog, go on a walk, hit the gym with no headset on, no music on, no distractions, and actually think, let me diagnose. I must be the doctor. You must be the physician to your own problems sometimes. Sometimes you bring in an outside physician. Sometimes you think about it yourself. And you go like, okay, what's actually wrong here? What's actually wrong? Is it my location? Is it actually dragging me down? What will actually be right about the new place that I'm going to? If I move, like right now I'm in Dubai. I was like, do you move? Okay. I was talking to some people that live here in Dubai. What's the pros and cons of Dubai? Well, you got a lot of ambitious people here. What's the downside? Uh, I'm overly materialistic, too simplistic, you know, of an environment. Maybe not as much culture as you would get from a bigger city like London or Berlin or Los Angeles, but walk that fine line between always running from your problems and between being stuck for sure. Changing your geography is one of the quickest hacks to changing your life. So in general, if you're on the fine line, try to move. And good news is you don't always have to move. Now it's pretty easy. You can go get an Airbnb for a month, try test experiment. I got a private client program where people doing 10 to $100 million pay me to kind of coach them. And for some of them, I'm like, look, man, spend the next 12 months, live in three different places. Give it time to experiment before you do a permanent move. And, and it's amazing how well that works for them. You know, you got to be a mad scientist in your own life with your geography. People always ask me, where's the best place to live? Well, Scandinavia. I live there. There's some great things about Scandinavia. Oh, there's some great things about Brazil. I was just there. Oh, I love Sydney, Australia, you know, but you have to have this fine balance between running from your problems to where you think the grass is greener and actually realizing that you're stuck in the wrong place. Like I said, if you can't figure out which one you are, lean towards changing your geography. In general, I see more people stuck from their geography uh, than not. So, like, if you're on the borderline, it was pretty hard to tell the difference. Move and try for a month. I'm not a big fan of just, like, trying to change your test your geography by going someplace for, like, a week or three days. It's not enough. Go for, like, a month. Then you'll really test your geography. See if it really is a catalyst to flip the switch when you get stuck, you know? So, try it. I'm in Dubai. I've tried, man, I've tried 40, 50 countries. You know, there's, there's pros and cons of everyone. I'll record a video where I go deep 
into the geography of the different, you know, what I think are the pros and cons. And you, what you basically want to do is match your inherent weaknesses with the strengths of some place. So for example, I'll give you a practical example. Let's say you inherently lean a little bit toward depression. You look at your genetics, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, somebody had that and you're a little bit melancholy type person. Well, I would lean toward changing your geography to a bright place with a lot of sun and a lot of warmth, you know, like San Diego, Dubai. That's a good example of offsetting your weak strengths and weaknesses with a location, locational change. If you're somebody that, you know, doesn't suffer from that, like you're an upbeat, extroverted type person, weather doesn't really affect you. I mean, weather affects everybody, but you know what I'm saying? It's not a big, then you can live in, you know, Norway, Sweden. So Iceland's a cool place. I was just there, volcanoes everywhere. So that's why I said, you got to be a chess master. A lot of people are like, Ty, what's the checkers advice you have? Simple advice. I'm like, life is, once you become a little more advanced, life is chess, not checkers, my friend. Deep thinking, deep thinking. By the way, a little survey in the comments. What is the best city in the world? If you only had to pick one, the best city that would help the most people to live in is it Dubai. You know, let's see. Let's do a little survey.